Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, we will going to learn how to size the circuit breaker for the motor circuits. Sizing of circuit breaker also means selection of the ampere rating of the circuit breaker because this is a very critical selection since it protects the load and the branch conductors from overloading and the overcurrent. In my previous video, I explained how to size the circuit breaker for the branch circuits that include lighting circuits or any resistive loads other than the motor loads. So for the motor loads, we first need to identify what is the overcurrent protection. After that, we will refer to the NEC standards which states the circuit breaker protection for the motors and this standard is 430.52 and lastly we will solve an example to understand the sizing of circuit breaker for the motor circuits. The motor branch circuit short circuit and ground fault protection. Here you can see the branch circuit for the motor load. This is the circuit breaker or it can be a fuse that will provide the short circuit or the ground fault protection. Plus after the contactor there is an overload which provides overload protection for the motor. So there are two types of protection. First is the overload protection and the other is the short circuit and the ground fault protection. So in this standard we will select the circuit breaker for the ground fault and the short circuit protection. In one of my previous videos, I have also explained how to properly select the overload protection for the motors according to the NEC standard. So NEC 430.51 general part 4 specifies the devices intended to protect the motor branch circuit conductors, the motor control operators and the motor against the overcurrent due to short circuit and the ground fault protection. So this standard does not provide the protection against the overload because it has already been provided through overload device which is installed with this circuit breaker for the motor protection. Unlike the motor circuits, in the lighting circuits we don't normally install an overload device such as overload relays. The circuit breaker provides both type of protection against the overcurrent such as overload current and the short circuit current. But in motor we normally install the circuit breaker and a separate overload device. Now according to the NEC table 430.52 the device setting which is the setting of the circuit breaker or the fuse shall not exceed the value calculated according to this table and if the exact size is not available in this table then we will select the next higher size of that device. To properly use this table we first have to identify the type of the motor we want the protection for. So we can have a single phase motor, the synchronous motor, induction motor, so there are different types of motor and for each type of motor we have different percentage of the full load current for the ground fault or the short circuit protection device. So we have the fuse here, dual element fuse, instantaneous strip breaker and the inverse time breaker. So most of our circuit breakers are the inverse time breaker. For the fuse we will refer to the first column of this table and for the circuit breaker we will refer to the last column of this table. Let's solve an example to understand how to properly size a circuit breaker. In this example, the type of the motor is three phase synchronous motor. And the type of the device which provides the short circuit protection is the inverse time breaker. So we will refer to this point, which comes out to be 250% of the full load current. So according to the power formula, we first compute the full load current which comes out to be 27 ampere of this motor. Now from the table, we have to multiply this full load current by 2.5 which comes out to be 67.5. 
since this is not the standard rating of the circuit breaker so we have to select the next higher size of the circuit breaker which can be 75 ampere or the 70 ampere circuit breaker for this type of motor so this is how we have to size the circuit breaker for the motor circuits this is not applicable for the lighting circuits for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching